Jessica Frost Ballas here with a video for Trinity Stamps. Today I'm doing some ink blending with one of my favorite spooky Halloween color combos and some new release products, so let's get started. I'm using the Full Moon Stencil in Coordinating Die Set, and first I use the large circle die to die cut a mask from masking paper. I keep both pieces of the mask, but start by temporarily adhering the outer piece over a white panel of cardstock. I place a scrap piece of paper over the rest of the panel to keep it covered and start blending my moon. I use Squeeze Lemonade Distress Oxide ink for the moon and blend it inside my circle. Then I place the full moon stencil over the circle and blend Mustard Seed Distress Oxide ink over the stencil to create the craters of the moon. Once I finish blending, I let it dry for a few minutes and then spritz the panel with water. I blot off the excess and let it dry. Next I take the circle from my mask and place it over my ink blended moon. This allows me to carefully line it up correctly. Then I peel off the rest of my mask. Now that my moon is masked off, I blend Twisted Citron, Peacock Feathers, and Black Soot Distress Oxide ink around the mask. After adding the Peacock Feathers, I go back in and blend the two colors together. Finally, I add the black soot and carefully blend the peacock feathers color into the black to get a smooth blend. Since there's such a strong color difference between the peacock feathers and black, don't blend the black too much or it will just cover up the teal color and look muddy. Blending the peacock feathers into the black soot helps lighten it up a bit, allowing it to blend more easily. I use a heat gun to dry the ink and then add more splatters of water and shimmer spray. Once it's dry, I carefully peel off the circle mask. When you're using temporary adhesive like these masks, you want to make sure that your panel is completely dry before adhering the mask, otherwise you risk ripping it when you take it off. Next I die cut the A2 tree frame for black cardstock. My ink blended panel is a little bigger than an A2 size, so I trim it down to 4 quarter by 5 and a half. Then I adhere the tree frame over the blended panel and adhere it to a top folding white card base. Next I die cut the bats from the full moon die set with black glitter cardstock for a little extra sparkle. For my sentiment I use the new Simply Sentiment Halloween set. I stamp two of the words onto white cardstock with black ink and die cut the Halloween word from white cardstock and black glitter cardstock to build my sentiment. To adhere the scripty Halloween, I apply glue to a scrap of paper and then carefully dip the die cut word into the glue. This allows you to apply a much thinner layer of glue than if you were to actually apply the glue directly to the back of the die.
And now it's time to put everything together. I adhere my sentiment to the top left part of my panel and then add my glittery bats to finish the card. And that's it. You can find more information on the products I used in the new release in the YouTube description below. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I'd love for you to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to the Trinity Stamps channel for even more crafty inspiration. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, have a fantastic day and happy crafting. Bye!